I still can't believe how quickly you put this whole dinner together. <laughs> you doubt my chef skills, huh? Never. I'm just impressed. Well, you deserve to be taken care of once in a while. I feel pretty taken care of right now. Imagine the possibilities. Hollywood is officially shaking. What if I told you that right now from your laptop, your smartphone, you can create unlimited, uncensored 1080p cinematic videos globally, no at least, no restrictions using the same code tag built by OpenAI. That's exactly what Higgsfield just did with Sora 2 and Sora 2 Pro. And trust me, this changes everything. In this video, I will show you exactly how to access a Sora 2 from anywhere around the world, how to use it to create cinematic visuals, 3D animated scenes, and viral shots that are currently trending on all social media platforms step by step, just like these are videos. See. Get <laughs> You're awful close, you know? I'm just making sure you didn't get lost in my reef. Lost? I'm perfectly fine, thank you. Then relax, I'm not here for lunch. Hmm. Your teeth say otherwise. They're just for smiling. Sora 2 gives creators everything they've been asking for when making videos by creating complex stories without limits, and anyone can create professional cinematic videos. Let's jump straight into it. Now, to get access to Sora 2, what you want to do is come over to Higgsfield AI. You'll find the link in the description below. Now, Higgsfield AI is an all in one platform where you can access a ton of AI image generating tools and AI video generating tools. Once you sign up, you will land on this main dashboard. First of all, we'll start with Sora 2, where you can create amazing cinematic videos, and then we'll try out Sora 2 Trends, where you can create viral shorts for your TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram. To access Sora 2, what we want to do is come to video, and you'll see a ton of tools that you can use to generate your videos. Today, we want to try out Sora 2. Just select it. Once you select it, and it will bring us to this interface. To create our video, we can either upload an image, but it is optional, or we can input a prompt that fully describes how we imagine our scene. When it comes to an image, human faces are not supported. I will start by uploading the image of my two characters and try to create a dialogue scene between my two characters. Once the image is uploaded, we can either go with a simple prompt that describes what we want to see in the scene or we can go with a detailed prompt. I'll show you the difference. Let's start with a simple prompt. With a simple one, I will say the two characters are having a warm light conversation. And at the bottom here, we'll be able to see the model, which is Sora 2. And the duration, you can go for either 4 seconds, 8 seconds, or 12 seconds. I'll select 12 for this example. And on the aspect ratio, you can either go for 16 by 9 or 9 by 16. I'll stick to 16 by 9 and I'll leave the unlimited mode off just like the way it is and hit create. Now, as the video is being generated, here is a detailed prompt that I'd prepared for this specific image. This is a very detailed prompt that describes everything that I want to see in that video. It describes exactly what is happening in that second, how the camera is moving, the background music that is involved, and the sound efforts. If there are footsteps, everything is added up to the final second of the video. If you want me to cover a full depth tutorial that shows you exactly how you can create this type of prompts, let me know in the comment section below. I'll be more than glad to help out. Out. So all I do is copy the entire prompt and paste it there. From there, I leave everything as is and hit generate. Now, here is the difference that you'll notice between my two. This is what has been generated with a simple prompt that we had given it at the beginning. Uh, I still can't get over how comfortable this house feels now. You really pulled it together. Thank you. I just wanted it to feel like us, warm, full of color, a little bit of home everywhere you look. You nailed it. When the sun hits the Okay, as you can see, there is no much movement in the scene and there is no much lip sync on our character's mouth. Now, this is exactly what it generated for us in a detailed prompt. I still can't believe how quickly you put this whole dinner together. <laughs> you doubt my chef skills, huh? Never. I'm just impressed. Well, you deserve to be taken care of once in a while. I feel pretty taken care of right now. Good, that's exactly the... 
Okay. <laughs> Let me know what you think about this entire process in the comment section below. And that's how effective detailed prompts can be compared to just generic random short prompts. Now, let's try out a Sora 2 Pro. I have this image that I prepared. I would delete this one that I have and upload it. Again, I would delete this prompt. I will use another detailed prompt for this specific image and paste the prompt there. From there on the model here, this is where I will select Sora 2 Pro. Just select it and you'll find Sora 2 Pro, Sora 2 Max, Sora 2 Pro Max by Higgsfield. You can try out these different models and check out which one generates the best results for you. Once selected, you'll see the option for the resolution to choose either 720 pixels or 1080 pixels. Once selected, just hit generate. And this is exactly what it generated for me. You're awful close, you know. Just making sure you didn't get lost in my reef. Lost? I'm perfectly fine, thank you. Then relax, I'm not here for lunch. Hmm. Your teeth say otherwise. They're just for smiling. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. I would really love to hear your response. This is amazing to create funny videos and upload them on your social media profile. Sometimes it will take a couple of generation for you to get the exact results that you're looking for. Take your time. Be creative in your prompts until you get the exact desired results. Besides that, you can try out without an image, only a prompt and see the exact results uh, that it brings out for you. Now let's go to the final one, which is Sora 2 Trains. All you have to do is select Sora 2 Trains here on top. Here you can create a shorts for TikTok, YouTube shorts or Instagram reels. All you have to do is type in your video idea or topic. I have this simple idea that says an elderly musician walking through neon lighting rainy city streets, saxophone in hands, reflection on wet pavements, camera tracking short from behind, dramatic lighting. From there, we can select the visuals and sounds by clicking on this button. On the style, the craziness and the montage, I'll leave them just like the way they are on auto. Then on the sound as well, I'll leave it on auto for the AI to detect the best sound, the tempo, the speech that will be suitable for my video. Just hit self settings if you've made any. Besides that, we can select the setting button here to unlock more settings. This includes the duration of our video, the quality. We've got the option to choose between 720 pixels and 1080 pixels because of the mode which is selected. If we go for the standard mode, we'll only have 720p. But if we go for Pro or for Pro Max, we'll have the option to choose between 720 pixels and and 1080 pixels and from there we can input a specific image that's if we have one and here we can select a preset for our video now under presets here we can filter by category or we can scroll around this options that are available or we can search for a specific presets that would love to create our video in like the street interview which I've seen a number of times. Select any that you'd love to create your video in and hit generate and these were the results that I got. Okay, let me know in the comment section below what you think. Now, I have this idea where a young one-year-old boy is giving gentle commands to his playful dog. The boy says sleeps and the dog lies down obediently. The boy says get up and the dog happily stands up and wags its tail. The scene is bright, cheerful and full of warmth showing the bond between the boy and the dog. I will not input any specific image, I will leave the AI to, to do the rest for me. And on the preset, I will just leave it to general just like that and hit generate. And these were the results for me. Sheep.
take your time, lay around this platform and create amazing story, amazing content for your social media profile, for your business, or just your presentation. All the visuals you've seen from the introduction to the final end were generated on the same platform. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. If you have any questions, hit me in the comment section below. From here, God bless you. Let me see you in this next tutorial. And if you're new to our channel, consider subscribing because more value awaits you.